So Mizuno have got three new irons out, the 221, the 223, and the 225. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. I'm gonna get out on the golf course with them. We're also gonna put them head to head in a little bit of a test later on in the video. So stay tuned for that. So a little bit about the irons before we get into those other parts. 221. 223 and 225, the new Mizuno power range. And not a lot's changed from the 221 and the 225 perspective, the 221 being the blade and the 225 being the HMB model that we saw in the previous MP20s. Still got that chrome underlay in them. We're still seeing very much the same characteristics in terms of the head shapes, the profiles of them. There's just been a few alterations just on the blade length and the way they look there. But it's the 223 that are boasting a little bit more technology and something that we've not really seen from the Mizuno Pro range before. It's actually put a little bit in engineered more at the distance side of things as opposed to what the Mizuno Pro range is that player who's looking for workability, the sleek looks of an iron, and looking for something that they know they can rely on. They've tried blending both of those worlds together. So has it worked? We're gonna find out because what they've done with the 223, they've added a micro slot, micro flow slot into the face, which is designed to sit in the irons four down to the seven iron. And ultimately it's just designed to give us a little bit more ball speed. So from irons where we see big long distances coming, you know, into the, the game now with irons, Mizuno have sort of tinkered with it a little bit and tried to play in that space whilst still keeping in the pro range. So my thoughts for this video, I wanted to get out onto the golf course and see what the 223 was like because we know what the 221 and the 225 are all about. We've seen them in the MP20. There's a little bit difference in the, the, um, the actual cosmetic. The logo looks a little bit different. I actually like the new logo. It looks a bit sort of samurai-esque, um, I would describe it as, and I think it looks brilliant, but I wanna know does this 223 with its micro flow slot, does it not really feel like a Mizuno anymore? Do I notice that when I get the longer irons out, all of a sudden that I'm nuking them, I can't really control them, which is what I found with a set of P790s a couple of years back, I changed them out because they look great, but they were just uncontrollable in those longer ones, just got really odd long distances from nowhere. So we're gonna head out onto the golf course and see how they perform. So I've brought the 223s out to the golf course and we're gonna play holes 13, 14, 15, and 16, which are two par threes, par four, and a par five. See if we can shoot level par just using the four, the six, the eight, and the wedge with these. Like I said earlier, it's got the micro flow slot in there to produce a little bit more ball speed as we're going through. So am I gonna see noticeable differences out on the golf course um, from these irons? Done the testing back at the, at the lab already. Let's see how they perform out here. Turn in, turn in. Well, that felt good. We're on the green. It's gone a little bit further than anticipated. But do you know what? It wasn't, it wasn't like a rocket. It wasn't seeing that it was jumping off the face. Let's get stuck into it. That needs to slow down. Wow, that's quick. Nothing to do with anything other than me being a bad putter there on that one. Oh, that is just woeful, Matt. That is woeful. Cheeky three put to start off with. Nothing wrong with the iron, just uh, heavy hands. Fifty-five. I've got my eight iron. This should be spot on now with this winter weather. Oh, I've hit that awful. Let's see if I've got any talent like Sav. We're going to use the pitching wedge here. Obviously not the normal 
club that I would be using, but only using the two two threes for six eight and wedge. I have to open it up and get low. See if we can splash it. Go on then, go in. Oh! I'm quite pleased with myself with that one. That was that was very good. That was very good. Nice, one and up and down. What an up and down. So I'm gonna go four iron now. One of the clubs, like I say, four to seven iron that have the micro slot in them. And we're gonna see that it shoots off with a little bit more ball speed or will it be a little bit unnoticeable? That was decent. Very easy to hit for a long iron. Nice. Oh, that was nice. That's really nice. That should hopefully be a little wedge left in. Bit like that. Now swing in. Oh, I'm liking these. They do feel very good. Very good. Little birdie number, can we? slot it for a well executed hole. He's only gone and done it folks. He has only gone and done it. The greens here, it's I think about the 23rd of November. And honestly, they're probably the best I've seen them all year. Unbelievable. Right, final hole. Then we'll get the final thoughts on these clubs. Stay tuned guys because I'm going to be giving a set of these irons away in a future video that will be coming out very soon so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Just hit it dead straight at the middle of the green. It's fine though, good strike. Up there, controlled. Almost feel like a player with these. Right. Little birdie putt. Could he go birdie birdie? Only playing with irons. Judging by my first long putt on the 13th, potentially not. Oh, that was so close. So close. Right then, let's head back to the studio. Have some final thoughts. So there we have it, a few holes out on the golf course with them and overall pretty much what I expected from a Mizuno iron. They looked good, they feel good and you get that consistency of flight. In terms of the micro flow slot, I didn't notice a tangible difference. I didn't hit as many shots as I probably should have or wanted to with the longer irons and that's why we're going to put them in a head to head with each other on the GC2. I'm going to hit 10 shots with each to see if I do notice a difference from this micro flow slot. All of a sudden is the 223 gaining more distance, getting quicker ball speeds, or is it just pretty much similar to the others? So let's do that now and find out. Ten 
shots with each club there. And as expected, the 2-2-1, if you don't quite catch that, with it being the bladed option, it's going to drop down in distance. We see that coming in the shortest, 182 yards and 124 miles per hour of ball speed. As we get into the 2-2-3 and the 2-2-5, this is what interested me a little bit. I hit the 2-2-3 worse than I did the 2-2-5, but what we see, and whether this is because of this micro flow slot, the numbers are pretty much identical. The 225, the HMB model, was the longest at 190.7 yards. The 223 came in at 190.5 yards, so only 0.2 of a difference. And the 225 had 126 mile per hour ball speed, 223 had 127. So, although I didn't hit it as good as the 225, what we see is that it's up there neck and neck. And I think that's where probably the flow slot's coming in. It's not offering crazy distance. What it will offer is the ability to be a little bit more consistent on those off-centered hits. And that's probably where a pro sort of set of irons would want to sit. You're not looking for uncontrollable distance. You're looking for that controllable number. If you're not quite striking it, you don't want to see massive drop-offs in your distance. You want to see that it's pr still pretty much up there neck and neck when you do flush it. You don't want big jumps from back to front and I think that's what the 223 offered there from that um, 10 shots that I hit because like I say I didn't quite catch it the best compared to the 225 which I felt I hit um, pretty central every time. So is it game changing? I don't think it is. What I think is good is that they've got the history of the MP range and they've almost blended it a little bit with the JPX range um, whilst not going completely off what an MP range would be, seeing that all of a sudden it's these huge distance signs. We're seeing that we're still getting the looks, the feel, the uh, consistency of the pro iron, while still just adding that little bit of technology into the 223 to help maybe someone who wants a pro iron but might not be striking it to the ability to play the 2-2-1. So overall, I think a very good range of irons. I'm not blown away by them, but I wasn't expecting to be because I think that's what Mizuno do. They just bring things out that we know what we want from Mizuno. We're not getting the shock and awe factor and I didn't expect to see that from those range. So I think, you know, like I say, very good set of irons, those, and it'd be worth maybe testing them if you are in the range for um, some new irons. Overall, impressed. As well, stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to be giving a set of these irons away in a future video that will be coming out very soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. So that was the MP range, the 221, the 223, and the 225. If you want a little look as well at the 221 and 225 a little bit more in depth, do hit me in the comments down below and I'll make a video on those. But overall, those are my thoughts on them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video very soon.